Good morning, kids. It's so good to see you. This morning, we're going to go on a bit of a treasure hunt. But first, we have to determine what treasure is. What types of things do you treasure? What might you find valuable? What objects or items are valuable to you? We're going to, we're, I'm going to show you a couple things and I want you to let me know which you'd rather have. Would you rather have this old bottle of stinky perfume or this Lego spaceship? Well, the spaceship sure looks like more fun, right? But this old bottle of stinky perfume, people pay over a thousand dollars for. All right. How about this yummy salted caramel ice cream cone? My favorite. Or this antique chandelier. Well, the ice cream cone sure would be yummier and would taste better, but the chandelier is an antique and people pay lots and lots of money for antiques. Okay, one more. Would you rather have a new video game or this little ring? Well, the video game would sure be fun, wouldn't it? But this little ring, the gem right here, is worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. The point is that the way we perceive value can be different than what the world says is valuable. The world puts a dollar sign on everything, and items are more or less expensive depending upon how much people are willing to pay for them. Sometimes earthly treasures are, seem like things that we should pursue. But what about heavenly treasure? What do you think it might mean to seek God's kingdom over other kinds of treasure? In today's parable, in Matthew 13, Jesus tells a story about the hidden treasure and the pearl. And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure or a beautiful pearl that someone would give up everything else in the world to get. When something is extra special, we're often willing to sacrifice other things for it. For example, Going to soccer practice might be very valuable to us, and we might give up playing with our toys to go to soccer practice. Or you may have to skip a TV show or a movie to study for a test, because that's what's important, is studying for the test. In the end, it's worth it, because you get something of more value for it. Well, life with Jesus is just like that. In the parable, people were willing to give up their own treasures to obtain a much more significant treasure, the kingdom of heaven. But what is the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God? Well, it's the reign of God here on earth. It's God ruling the earth right here. It's about God's kingdom coming here, changing things up, and making all things new. It's what the world will look like when God's in charge. Everything will be turned upside down. The first will be last. The last will be first. It's a kingdom that requires a different kind of living, modeling our lives after Jesus Christ. Following God might sometimes mean that we don't do everything our friends do. And we might need to act or say things a little bit differently as Christ's disciples. But we know that it's well worth it. We know that the kingdom of God awaits us and that, it, that it's more precious and valuable than anything we could ever hope for. When we seek God's kingdom, we recognize that we have hope in his promises. He will give us a wonderful new life one day. So no matter what kinds of treasures we find here on earth, our current lives are just the start of an amazing life with God. 
That is something to truly treasure now and always. Let's pray. Dear God, you are our greatest treasure. Help us to seek you first and foremost. Remind us of the most important things in our lives and keep us focused on what matters. Thank you for the hope of eternal life with you. Thank you for your love. In your name we pray. Amen. And now, let's sing How Great Is Our God with the Yancey and then come back and we'll get a blessing. Either your forehead to the screen or the backs of your hands to the screen. You are a blessing. Remember that God loves you very much, and so do I. Go out and have a wonderful week. See you next week. Bye-bye.